Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Did the bomb just drop in here or is it just me? I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Basically, I pretty much suspected the wrong ambassador, didn't I? Well, shit, this happens. So now we found the counterfeit plates that we were looking for, the missing piece this whole time. Now I think we've got <laughs> some, you've got some explaining to do, old man. Looks like you still don't get why I came back. Excuse me? Gandalf, you are in so much trouble. You see, the reason I came back is so that I could sink my fangs into your wrinkly old neck. Damn it. I kind of almost thought that it said wrinkly old ass, probably because I wanted it to say that, but it didn't. From the very beginning, my real target has been you. What? So he suspected it all along. So even though the poor dude was shot, that's why he ended up coming back here. That's why he probably like put the blame on Franzi just as a, a fake out so that he wouldn't get suspicious. Agent Lang, I demand an explanation. Sorry, sis, I didn't mean to put you through all that. I knew it. I knew he had to have a reason. He's better than we thought. I knew you were innocent from the very beginning. I freaking knew. You did? I knew that this whole incident had been meticulously planned and prepared for. So naturally, the occupant of this room, Ambassador Alba, seemed the most suspicious. But without the Ambassador's permission, we couldn't get in to take another look around. That was clever as balls, sir. Oh, so that's why you put on this big show to accuse Francisco of the murder. Using Francisco as the bait, you were able to gain us entry and investigate rights. Yeah, if I hadn't done that, I doubt the ambassador would have given the okay to poke around. So, that's what all this was about? Very well, I'll forgive you. But, in exchange for using me as bait, she gets to whip you. A hundred times. Bend over, Wolverine. You will take some responsibility and help us find the truth. Agent Lang, for giving me such a great opening. I thank you. Wait, <laughs> Oh. I'm 12. Okay. No, he's not. <laughs> you know, I just knew, Mr. Prosecutor. Somehow, if we were able to find some proof by investigating this room, that you'd be able to figure out the real culprit with your special brand of logic. Tuh. <laughs> the evidence detectives collect combined with the logic of a prosecutor. That's just as it should be in a prosecutor detective team, right? Yeah, I do like them now. I do like this team. It's grown on me. I don't know about all that. The one thing I do know is that I'm itching to see what that old man gets coming to him. Oh, you're quite scary when you want to be, aren't you? Hey, you were the one who were planning to use me from the beginning to push all the guilt onto the sis. But unfortunately for you, you misjudged me. Oh, Gandalf, what are you going to do? Agent Lang, I wish for you to stop trying to intimidate me. What we need right now is evidence and proof. I wonder if you have what is necessary to prove that I am the head of the smuggling ring. Objection! Don't be such a sore loser. If you really are the head of the smuggling ring, then you should acknowledge your crimes with dignity. Dignity? That is nothing more than a fool's insincere display of strength. If you really wish for me to acknowledge my crimes, then I would like to first see some of this thing you call evidence. Ugh. I tell you, I knew nothing, really. I didn't even know that a counterfeit plate was hidden inside that statue. Sure you didn't. You swapped a real statue that vested in your country the authority to rule for a fake. It doesn't make any sense that you didn't know anything. It doesn't make sense? Where doesn't it make sense? In your butt, boy. Can you prove that it doesn't make sense? G what is he getting at now? Miles, don't let him shake you. He's really got us. He's turned the entire situation around against us. Gandalf, can you stop, please? Oh my god, Gandalf, don't you have a hole to fall down? The proof that Interpol has been after, which points to this man as the ringleader. The proof that Interpol has been after. If we can somehow find that proof now, 
We can see that justice is finally served. Is there nothing I can use to break this case wide open? Oh, wait a minute now. Let's go through the events. The trump card and the videotape. Right! With those two items, we might be able to finally bring this man down. But the card is evidence from a case that Mr. Faraday hid away in secret. And the tape was stolen by Detective Bad. Right. They're both illegal evidence. What are we gonna do? No matter what, a protector of the law can't be allowed to use such pieces of evidence. Edgeworth, we might not have a choice here. Needless to say, we von Karmers are commanded to achieve nothing but victory. And by any means necessary. Well, of course he would say that. We've been new, right? All right, Dracula, thanks for that. The only way to bring someone like that to justice was to do so outside of the courts. That's what we thought at the time. What are we gonna do? I no longer follow the path of Manfred von Karma. And I won't follow the path of the Altagarasu. This leaves me with what? What creed will I believe in? Your own, I suppose. But what are we gonna do? We have to use one or the other, don't we? I think that's what they're getting at here. If I want to pursue the truth, then I will sully my hands in illegality. And if I want to pursue justice, I will lose the truth. What is the law? And what is justice? Oh my goodness! Let's not have an existential crisis now! And which path is the prosecutor supposed to follow? Miles, I don't know. That choice is one I must make by my own hand here and now. We have to do it. We, we don't have a choice. I I'm gonna go with my gut feeling on this one. Doing it. There's no limit to the law. Any limit that exists was set there by man. When a person goes beyond that limit, then the law too crosses into new territory. There you go. This is the only way. For what reason were laws invented? The answer to that is what I must now show. Ambassador de Alba, I wonder if you might recognize this. Uh, oh, I wonder what that card is. I've never seen that before. Maybe because you can't see. Bet you're lying about that too. It's a directives card used by the leader of the ring to relay instructions to his subordinates. Oh, is that what it is? This card was sent to the real culprit behind the KG-8 incident ten years ago. A man by the name of Mr. Manny Cochin. Oh, so why do you have such a card in your possession? Because it was hand-delivered to me. By a certain great thief, the Atigarasu. The Atigarasu gave that to you? Don't talk nonsense and let's be serious, Mr. Edgeworth. Do you have any proof that the card contains directions from the ringleader? I'll have you know that the card is not the only thing I was given. Look at this tape! This contains security footage that was shot just before the start of the KG-8 incident. The KG-8 incident? The card and the video. These two pieces of evidence are what will seal your fate. What you gonna do, Gandalf? You need a seat. Oh, very interesting, I must admit. I'm very curious now. I bet you are. Very curious indeed in these case-deciding pieces of evidence you've presented. He knows. He must, right? He somehow gotta know about it. The prey the Autogross has been chasing all this time now stands before me. I can't allow this man, who has had free reign for ten long years, to simply walk away. Now is the time for me to bring to fruition the valiant spirit that was given to me. We can do it, Miles. Oh, are we actually gonna do it? Oh my goodness. So what is this interesting thing that you wanted to show me? <laughs> Unzip. Don't. The trump card and the videotape. These two pieces of evidence together make for the ultimate hand. And this is where the real meaning behind the Detective Bad's words will be realized. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Here we go. What you see here is security footage shot just before the KG-8 murder occurred. From this footage, we know that the card is a directive's card from the smuggling ring. 
This is the section that proves that the card was used to relay an order. This is the proof. Well, he's got the card in his hand for one. Oh, sorry, my, this thing doesn't want to work. There we go. My stylus doesn't work very well. As you can see, Mr. Cochin is holding the card in his right hand. I see. The killer is indeed holding a card with the exact same design on it. But that card and the one you have, just because they look the same, doesn't mean that they are, does it now? Ah, but there is a very easy way for me to prove that they are in fact one and the same. All we have to do is simply take a, take a look at this! What are we looking at? What? Huh? Is this something we missed? The blood! Of course. I forgot that it was even there. Oh no. You know, thank god this game leads me down the right path sometimes. I'm really not as lucky as you guys think. The stock red blood. Yes, this is your proof. Proof that the orders on this card were played out in that terrible tragedy. The blood belonged to the victim of the KG-8 incident. With a bit of DNA testing, we can very easily verify that as fact. What now? If you have no objections, then I'd like for you to take take a look at this. Look at this footage. This car that passed by in front of the victim's apartment building. It's an official Codopian government car. What? Detective Gumshoe, if you could please magnify the footage. How are you going to do that on- you cannot do that on a regular VCR though. This area of the footage directly links the smuggling ring with Codopia. Oh, the card's here in his pocket. Look! Look at that! Take that! The shape of this pocket and the directive's card in it. It tells us that without a doubt, the person in this car is Mr. Cochin. <laughs> the license plate on the car was also captured by the security camera. And with it, we can easily find out who was staring, sitting in this car on that day ten years ago. <laughs> Which is why I can say with confidence that you were riding in this car on that day. Oh, don't poop your pants there, Grandpa. Let me get you a seat. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my goodness! Holy shit! My god. He looks like a giant tree ma- I knew that whole shit was fake! You've done well, boy, to make it this far. However, about your claim that I was riding in the car at the time. That's going to be mighty difficult to prove. How so? The Principality of Codopia no longer exists. So naturally, all records from that time period also no longer exist. Oh my god! What, what the fuck? Why did Discord make a noise? I'm not even in there. The hell was that? Did you guys hear that? Never mind. Maybe it was your Discord. Jesus Christ, this music is so good! Naturally, all records from that time period also no longer exist. Oh, sorry, that was him. Ugh, oh, that arrogance. What he really means is he already erased all traces of them. Of course he did. Are we finished here, boy? Excuse me, do not show off your bling to me, old man. I don't give a crap. The only weapon I have left to me now is this piece of footage. There must be something here that I can use against him. Um, yes. Look. See the metal is reflected in the seat? He has one on right now that looks like this flower. That's gotta be it. Right? Oh god, I hope. There's nothing else here that we can even see. Oh shoot. This is getting real right now though. This is getting real right now. What the- Ambassador Alba! Yes, what is it? You were once an army man in the service of Kadopia. There's a Discord sound. What the fuck? My Discord's all broken. And it was you who made the many missions you participated in successes correct. Per Why the sudden backhanded praises, boy? 
Although to be sure, the brilliant medals on my breast were awarded to me during the era of Kodopi. Never say that word again. Ever. But now I am only one who owns this particular medal. In that case, the only person it could be is who is sitting in this car is you. That is the only person. How do you figure that? By the metal captured here in this footage, he just said he's the only one that has one. It's clearly the same exact metal as the one on your chest. <laughs> Notice how he didn't say breast? Holy shit! He's falling apart! Look, he's getting all ripped up in the face. What? This is how it will be, but I won't look back. For this is the path that I've chosen. <laughs> You've moved me with your devotion to this case, Mr. Edgeworth. Why is he taking such an arrogant stance with me? It's almost looking possible, isn't it? With a lot of you have come this far. It looks like I just might lose our little game this time. Jesus Christ! You might lose the game this time? You don't get another round, Mr. Ambassador. This is crazy. Is that a fact? Very well, I've decided to confess and admit my guilt. Just that easy. You're going to confess? And I will accept whatever punishment that may come as a result. What the- He's not really. Regarding the Damascus to murder, I admit it. I did it out of self-defense. Oh, of, I see. Of course he's gonna string it that way. Well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You're claiming it was justified self-defense. Damascus 2 attacked me and I felt that my life was in danger. If I hadn't done what I did, I might be the one you found dead instead of him. <laughs> what a pathetic performance! <laughs> I'm not giving you one. Wow, you two really know how to laugh at inappropriate times. Yeah, really, at least someone said it finally. If you wish to claim it was justified self-defense, then we will need some evidence. It's always the evidence with you, isn't it? But if that's what you require, I'll provide it. That man left a mark on me when he attacked. What? I don't particularly want to show it off. This is proof that it was in self-defense. Whoa. Okay. You could have just done that yourself. I'm an old man, and sometimes I don't pay enough attention when I should. So what you mean is you fell right onto like a pen or something. Ew, don't show me your boobies. I don't want to see them, though. But the mask, too, didn't have a single weapon on his body. Whoa, 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 she's about to get slapped. Look out, Frenzy. Hold on, it's nothing to get worked up over because I hid the weapon. You hid it? I'm sorry, but as you know, a murder is a murder, even if it's in self-defense. This has gone kaka cuckoo now. What the hell is he talking about? And I couldn't let it become public, seeing as how I am an ambassador? This is the weapon you seek, my special bonsai trimming shears. They would not have blood on them like that if you just had a puncture wound, sir. Sir! Oh, it's covered in blood. He was trembling quite badly during our struggle. But that's when he grabbed the shears that were sitting in my office and attacked. So you see, it was an act of self-defense. Is he right, Mr. Edgeworth? I don't think so. Since he has both the wound and the weapon that caused it, it's enough to declare it so. Yeah, but he could have just held that and did it to himself easily. Like, super easily, though. Are we not gonna- Oh my god, I thought that said Ambassador Alba's wood. Okay. <laughs> we got the wood. Jeez, I can't even read today, and this is all very important. No way. Oh, which reminds me, I guess there's still one more accusation I need to resolve. Smuggling and counterfeiting. Unfortunately, all of that is my secretary's doing. I had no knowledge it was going on. Your secretary? Who the hell's that? Stop spewing nonsense. You're trying to throw my investigation under the bus in your desperation. If you want to get real honest, everything in this case can be connected to you. The murder of Damask II was done in self-defense? Whip him. Get him, Franzi. 
In my trials, no man escapes his crime alive. Perhaps so, if you were my opponent in court. However, there is one very important fact that I think you may have forgotten. And what is that? What is it? His political power. Ugh! Oh, that's what you mean? Extraterritoriality. That's right. This embassy sits on what is effectively Alabastian soil. Oh, of course. He's untouchable because it happened in his country. They have no reason to take him to court for that. So any trial that is to be held will be held in Alabast, where I'm sure he'll get a very fair and just trial in his own home country, right? Yeah, wrong. Therefore, the crime I just admitted to will never be tried in your courts. Agent Lang, what is Interpol's stance on this? Agents investigate. It's our job. The judgment of people who have confessed to their crime. That's the courts. Oh. And I've already confessed to all of my crimes, Agent Lang. Furthermore, by the very nature of my position, I have full extraterritorial rights. These rights are effective even on your country's soil, therefore... No matter where a crime may take place, I will never stand trial in one of your courts. That arrogance in your expression. That's nothing like the face of someone who's ready to accept the consequences. Yeah, seriously. What are we gonna do? Don't tell me you have your own country's judicial system eating right out of your hands. Of course he does. I mean, it's very obvious that he does. These crimes you all speak so seriously of. To me, this has all been nothing more than a game. You may chase me out of this embassy with your accusations, but it's no big deal. Alabast has numerous other embassies in other countries around the world. All you would accomplish is you would change the backdrop of our little game. These two layers of protection that extraterritoriality provides him. This is why he's one of those who cannot be brought to court. That's how he probably got it all done in the first place. What are we gonna do? You see now, don't you? I live in a whole different world than you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and fetch your eviction papers. Oh, great. Ugh, is there nothing we can do? I don't know. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. It, it's still way too early for this. Um, uh, uh, no, 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 no. You never save an NLP. All right, well, I, I feel like we're on borrowed time here now. I can't believe it, sir. Extraterritoriality. Yes, and there's nothing we can really do about that. In the end, we didn't have enough authority to bring him to justice. I can't believe that even though we know he's the boss, we can't lay a finger on him. I know. What are we gonna do? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Sorry to skip out on you, but I got some business to take care of. What are you up to? You got something else under your sleeve, I hope? God, I hope so. If we can't even give an evil guy like him a slap on the wrist, then what the heck are laws created for? What good are they? If the law can't help us, then I'll go as the Atagrasu and take care of this myself. Don't you dare. Mr. Edgeworth. Sorry, that was a bit too harsh. I know how you feel, sir. We're trying to take on an ambassador after all. And he did tell us earlier to get out of the theater. This is kind of their country, I guess. But I feel like I've been slapped across the face for just doing my job. What am I going to do? Should I retreat for now and formulate a better plan of attack? I don't know. Who's holding it? Where are we holding? Come on, everyone. We can't give up yet. Okay. I want you to think about something for a sec. We've never let up for even a second, and as long as we don't stop investigating, we might find the rotten treasure hidden here. She, she's right. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. You're right, Kay. Very well. Let us reopen the investigation and see what we find. Come on, Kay. Right behind you. Okay, I'll go check out Babal a bit more, sir. 
And I have something that I need to investigate further in Alabast. Are they gonna let you back in there? I thought he just told us to get the fuck out of here. All right, I guess we're just ignoring it. What's gonna happen though? The police are gonna come take us away or something. Now then, before I gather any more information, I should do a bit of housekeeping. Passion flowers data erased from organizer. Okay. We're still invest. Okay. Good God Almighty. Ambassador Alba seemed agitated over something. Agitated Alba, I sense that there's something he doesn't want us to investigate. Okay, so we're getting logic now. I wonder why. There are two special circumstances that surround the ambassador. First, the embassy itself has extraterritorial rights. If something happens on Alabastian soil, we are unable to legally prosecute him. Cool! It sounds like embassies are the perfect place to steal whatever you want! And, murder Damas too, run a smuggling operation and make counterfeit bills, apparently. But, I thought all the counterfeiting was done by Mr. Cochin and Baval. Yes, he apparently used the embassy's coupon printing press to do it. Cochin's counterfeiting operation used Babali's embassy's printing press and Babali's ink to make counterfeit bills. Right. But it's the same story over there anyway. Babal also has extraterritorial rights. Which brings me to my next point. The ambassador's extraterritorial rights. Those rights are effective even in our own country. Really? No matter what happens, he can never be tried in our court. He retains some very special rights indeed. Basically, no matter what wrongs he may commit, we can't bring him to trial here. So, I guess we really don't stand a chance, do we? Hmm. We might stand a chance, if we can somehow nullify either one of his special rights. How in the hell are we gonna do that? I don't even know. What are we supposed to be looking at right now? Uh... Like, where are we supposed to- oh, look. There's a picture right here. Was this here before? Oh, look at that. This was taken just before the two ambassadors gave their bouquets to the still samurai. Wait. Is it just my imagination? Oh, wait. What? Edgeworth, I think I might see what you're looking at. Why does the flower look weird? The yellow one. Is there something in this picture I've seen before? Okay, I am I right about that? Maybe if I click on it, like, they'll tell me right away. Like, it's this thing right here, right? It appears to be a bouquet of Persian samlaclins and roses. Wow, you even know the exact species? I never would have figured you for an expert on flowers. Ugh. It's all because of those flowers that old lady sends me every month. Just look at me. I sound like some sort of botanist. Nothing wrong with botany. So, what exactly is that yellow flower here? Hmm. That one. I'm not sure. What? You don't know? As far as I can recall, I've never seen a flower like this before. But I feel as though I've seen the shape somewhere. What do we have that... Oh, we can deduce now. What can we deduce? Is this spot somehow connected to the evidence I hold? What looks like that? <gasps> oh! My god, it's the end of this, isn't it? Oh my goodness me! It is, isn't it? Bubble's national symbol is the butterfly, and Alabast is the flower. It would appear that someone is employing the old hide a tree in a forest trick. What are you mumbling to yourself about? Wait, what? The handle on this knife! Oh! Yes, it's the handle that was supposed to be on the blade that killed Mr. Cochin. The weapon that killed him was carried through the Theatrum Neutralis. In the very bouquet Ambassador Alba was carrying. Holy crap, okay, commemorative photo. This flower motif. It looks like one of the flower petals is missing. Ooh, and take a look at the weapon itself. It's missing the exact same petal. And the knife in this photo is most definitely the same as the murder weapon. Okay. What does it all mean? I'm not exactly sure. But what I am sure about is I'm going to try to work this out and figure it out soon in the next one. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And I will see you soon in the next one. Thanks so much, guys. Toodaloo!